Hi, how are we doing guys? Um, whoa, that's a bit of a weird angle. Right. Welcome to day two of the daily live stream. Um, I've just been out for a bike ride actually. Um, trying to get some practice in before next month's daily ride. <coughs> Not gonna lie, it was a little bit hard. Um, but it was hard, but it felt good. So, yeah, uh, today I, I'm just got back. I'm trying to uh, do a little bit of editing on a video I did on a new GoPro setup for vlogging. And uh, I just wanted to say hi. I've been at work today. Uh, today is, what day is it today? It's Wednesday, isn't it? Yeah, Wednesday today. Oh, I've got two people on the stream. Say hi, guys. Where's the chat? Top chat. Make sure you uh, comment down below. So, um, yeah, today's Wednesday. Been at work all day. Good day at work. Decided to try and get some practice in tonight for cycling. Been out for an hour. Did um, did about 12, 13 miles, so it was really good. And I've got to try and edit this video tonight uh, before I go to bed. Early start in the morning, so I haven't got long. But, yeah, daily live stream. It is the vlog. Um, the vlog is dead. But it's his log. Yeah, so if you weren't, uh, if you hadn't seen yesterday's episode, um, Tube Flicks, Chris Terry um, said in the comments, does that mean you're a Zlogger? And I was like, why? I was thinking about it today. Why? The Z Log, Z Log was the name of the daily log stream. And I got to that by some random, roundabout, weird Xander way. The way I think, God knows what I was thinking. But it was right there, staring me right in the face. We're not vlogging, we're vlogging. So, yeah, that is the the name for the live stream. It is the vlog. We've skipped every other letter in the alphabet. We've just gone straight to Z, and that is the way forward for this year. Um, I'm going to do my utmost to make sure that I do every day. Um, I'm not going to hold myself to it because obviously life gets in the way sometimes. But that is what we're going to do. We're going to do a live stream as much as possible and I'm going to like try my utmost to do it every single day. So if you're watching this further on down the line, I hope you had a great day and thanks for tuning in and watching the live stream. Um, today I was looking for, for obvious reasons, coming up to next month, I was looking for um, cycling inspiration and I came across, weirdly, Right on the homepage of the BBC website, there was this, um, this, what do you call it? Uh, this story on the BBC website, Cycling and Suffering, a Special Relationship. And it actually came out today, this morning, and it is uh, some really good stuff in here. But something that really um, hit me hard was a cyclist I know and I've watched, a German cyclist called Jens Voigt. And uh, he was one of the oldest um, up until, I think, last year or the year before he um, he retired. But he's 47, still cycling now. And he talks a little bit about his, his upbringing in Germany. Um, his dad was a hard-working man, um, just, a, just a normal family, quite a poor family. But there was something that really hit me. And um, I don't know if it comes from a young age. Um, he says, my young life was basically built around discipline and resilience. Um, he said he wasn't, he didn't have a terrible life, far from it, but things didn't come easy for him. So um, he had to work hard from an early age to earn what he wanted to do. Um, it was a poor family and my dad, uh, who was turning 73 this year, was a blacksmith. He worked hard. He was pretty beaten in life. He had one uh, knee replacement and a hip replacement, lost, lost half a finger at work. And, uh, yeah, he, he was a hard-working man, obviously an uh, old-school dad. Um, but he talks about one time when he went to the zoo with his father and his family. Um, he was just like any other kid. I think he was. He, he says he was about nine or ten, where he kept on moaning, saying um, he was tired, he was hungry, he was thirsty, his legs are hurting. And his dad simply said to him, son, the mind has to control the body, not the other way around. So he's... And that's where his phrase, he was famous for a phrase saying, shut up legs. So when he was cycling uphill, his legs were screaming at him, wanting to burst. He would just shout, shut up legs. Um, so 
that's my little bit of cycling inspiration. I found Jan Voigt, 47 year old. I'm sure he was still cycling at the very, very. Um, oh, sorry, he retired in 2014. I do remember watching him uh, cycle. And uh, yeah, so September 2014, at the age of 42, he was still competing at the very, very top level, which is amazing. Um, and that is all down to his upbringing and his. Um, it was drilled into him at a young age that he's got to be strong-minded and just work hard to a uh, freakish level, it turned out, that he just wouldn't give up until basically his body was screaming, that's enough. Um, yeah, he trained on to the, uh, to the very brink of death at some times. That's what it seemed like. But it's a fantastic um, yeah, BBC website, BBC Sport website. There's a, there's a, it's a really good article, actually. And it's called Cycling and Suffering, a Special Relationship. Go and check it out if you're uh, inter interested in that kind of thing. So that was my um, bit of inspiration for the day. Um, it made me think a little bit about... Um, I've got the sort of the same relationship with my son. Um, he plays football and he plays for four times a week on a regular basis at quite a good level. Um, not quite academy level, which is the Premier League clubs or the, um, championship clubs, but... He's, uh, I would say he's on the way to playing some kind of paid football if he keeps on this track that he's on. So, um, yeah, and I, I'm in the past I have been quite hard on him, but I've learned recently that uh, kids at a young age respond better to a lot of encouragement. But from reading that today, it it is right that you have to instill some kind of hardness into them, and from a very young age that. We, in England, we haven't won the World Cup at football for a long time, gone no, sixty odd years. But and I think it that stems from kids having an easy life uh, and not having to fight for what they have to fight for what they want in life. Um, just a just a broad statement, but um, yeah, the, that's what I'm trying to instill in Jake. That if it's cold and it's raining, he's still got to go. Uh, if he doesn't want to go to training, he still has to go. If it comes back from school and he's got homework to do, he's got to do that first before he goes to training, but he's still got to go. Um, and he has tough times in games sometimes, but um, just pushing them and making them realise that they've got to work hard in life. And, uh, yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. Anyway, I am rambling. That is my little bit of a thought for the day and the live stream. I hope you enjoyed it, guys. It, 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 once I get talking, I can get talking. I don't know what's the matter with me don't usually talk this much, but when I'm on here, I'll just ramble away. And uh, we've been talking for eight minutes, so that's fantastic. Hope you enjoyed it, guys. Thanks for tuning in anyway. And, um, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow's Thursday. What's going on tomorrow? Nothing I can recall, but, um, yeah. Hi, Tim. Oh, thanks for tuning in, mate. Yeah, good idea to push your kids. Exactly. Um, I think that, like I was saying, you've got to teach them from a young age that... Um, They've got to work hard. Nothing comes easy in life. Nothing comes to your lap without you having to work for it. And um, they have to learn from your mistakes along the way. Uh, but that's maybe another subject for another stream. But, yeah, thanks for tuning in, guys. Um, it's nearly nine minutes. And, uh, yeah, see you tomorrow. If you haven't subscribed already and watching this further on down the line, um, yeah, Tim, exactly. They need to uh, develop self-confidence. Uh, that is precisely right, mate. And uh, I think this is uh, it's an, it's a good subject, maybe uh, for another stream where we can dive deeper into it, maybe on a weekend. Um, we can sort of try and delve into subjects that created a lot of conversation during the week. Maybe on a Saturday night, we do like a half an hour stream where we talk. Uh, maybe get a few more people in on the weekend and we get a bit of a conversation going and dive more into subjects that um, interested people more uh, on, a, on a Saturday or a Sunday evening. Um, we'll do it that way. Uh, but yeah, it's definitely a subject for another time. Definitely, there's a lot to talk about there. Us parents have become too soft also with our kids. I think, yeah, it's just changing society. Um, it, life... Uh, it's a difficult one. It's a very difficult one. Uh, life is uh, harder in some respects, but easier in others. I think um, with regards to, say, 100 years ago, everything's just taken a total flip that way. Um, 
yeah, it's everybody more or less gets what they want. That can get you into trouble on certain certain points. Um, but yeah, you've you've still got to work hard and not be led into a false sense of security, thinking that everything's going to come to you. You still got to work hard. That's there's no doubt. Just look at Casey Neistat. What he had to do um, with uh, the upbringing that he came on with. Yeah, Tim, exactly. Love to carry on with this topic. It is important for us both uh, to for the future generation. Let's just have a look at that. Sorry, guys. The chat pops up and then disappears. That's not good. I'm not quick enough to read it. Uh, but yeah, Tim, some great points, and it's definitely a subject we need to carry on with uh, that might interest people. Um, and yeah, we'll, I'll make a note of this, and we'll definitely jump into this subject further on uh, another time, 100%. Uh, thanks, Tim, for tuning in, by the way. Um, over from CreatorCast, guys. Hello to all the CreatorCast guys. Um, and hopefully we can get some more of you onto the stream at some point because those guys bring up some fantastic points and the conversation on that stream is fantastic. Um, so, yeah, anyway, that is it. I'm going to get cracking on with this edit. Um, I've got to get to bed at some point. It is currently uh, two minutes past seven in the UK and I've got to be in bed for maybe... Nine o'clock at the latest tonight, up at half one, two o'clock in the morning for my another day of trucking. But yeah, thanks for tuning in, guys. I'll see you on the next stream. Take it easy. Peace.